Hey YouTube, I got another package. This is the fuse wire that I ordered, it seems like forever ago. I almost forgot about it. It's the 510 and 30 or 515 and 30 amp fuse wire. Uh, apparently it, I ordered it from overseas. I don't know. It says Victoria Malta there, West Sussex or something like that. Uh, I thought I was ordering it from the United States, but I didn't. So anyway, uh, we're going to give this uh, fuse wire a try. Where'd my scissors go? It is 5, 15, and 30. I'm more interested in this 5 since it's kind of small. Since that last uh, 3 amp fuse wire was kind of a bummer. But oh well, we'll give this stuff a try and see what happens. Maybe we'll do the 15 too. We'll do a quick measurement of the 5 amp wire. 0.19 millimeters, 15 amp, 0.49 millimeters. Okay, so this will be the testing. Um, up on the top row, we have all the 5 amp stuff, and this, of course, and then these three down here are the 15 amp stuff. Okay, let's get to it. First test is a 7.03 millimeter gap, and this uh, bus bar is 9.2 millimeters wide by 1.15 thick. Contact. Okay, I didn't actually get to see where it popped. I'll take a look on the video. Next test is the 6 gauge wire or 4.11 millimeters thick. Um, I'm going to try something a little different this time. This gap is 11.35 millimeters, but I kind of bent it in a upwards fashion and I just want to see what happens. Contact. Okay, I think that was around 18, but of course I'll have to look to find out. Okay, the next test is the 10 gauge twisted pair or 2.59 millimeters thick. Uh, the gap on this one, I increased it to 15.58 and I bent the fuse in a similar upwards fashion. Contact. Okay, that one, uh, I think it was around 10 or 11. Okay, next test is the 12 gauge wire or 2.05 millimeters and this gap is 17.65 and I of course bent the fuse in a upward fashion similar to the last test. And I'm going to try it on the 3 volt rail first. Contact. Okay, that didn't really work because the voltage drop was too much. Back to 5 volt rail. Contact. Okay, I think that was around 10 or 11. And the distance of my um, heater wire up here, if I made that longer, I could probably start at a lower amperage. So I may do that in future test videos. Okay, next test is the 14 gauge twisted pair or 1.63 millimeters. And the gap on this one is 10.64. Contact. Okay, of course I'll have to look at the video to see where that one popped, but it was probably around 11 or 12. Okay, the next test is the copper tube, and it is 6.35 millimeters in diameter, and the wall thickness is 0.6 millimeters, and the gap is 10.24 millimeters. Contact. Okay, I believe that one burned at 18 amps. Alright, next test is the 10 gauge twisted pair with the 15 amp fuse wire. Uh, this gap is set at 10.89 millimeters. And uh, of course I don't know how long I'll be able to hold the wire up here, but we'll see. Contact. Contact. 
Okay, well that one's going to take more than 30 amps to pop, and I just burned through my heater wire up there. Uh, so yeah, I would definitely not use the 15 amp wire, so I'm not going to test the 30 amp wire. Okay, I figured since I'm here I might as well do a few more tests, and this is going to be the quarter watt resistors that I've been testing uh, in the previous videos. This gap is set at 10.08 millimeters. Contact. Okay, wow, that was uh, pretty quick. I might try it on the 3 volt rail. Otherwise, I need to make my wire up here longer so I can try to get a lower amperage start. Okay, that previous wire was the 14 gauge. Uh, this next one is the 12 gauge. And the gap is set at 9.93 millimeters. Contact. Okay, that um, just got up to 10 amps and then popped. Uh, the next one I'm going to put on 3 volts and we'll see what happens. Okay, this next uh, wire is the 10 gauge twisted pair, 2.5 millimeter wire. And the gap is set at 10.07 and I'm going to start with the 3 volt rail. Contact. Now the voltage sag on there was pretty far. That's two and a half. Let me try something else here. It's still two and a half. Okay. Uh, looks like I have to go up. I have to go up to the uh, five volt rail. Okay, five volt rail. Contact. Okay, that looked to me, when I saw it, it was around 9 amps. Okay, this is the same uh, 10 gauge twisted pair, and it was what was left over of the last test. And the gap is 4.47 millimeters. Contact. And my wire's starting to make a fire. Oh well, we'll press on. Okay, this is the copper tubing, and the gap is set at 10.09. Contact. Alright, that was around 8 to 9 amps. Okay, YouTube, uh, that's all the testing I have for you today. Let me know what you think about this 5 amp wire. I mean, I guess it did okay. Uh, it would be really cool if you could find a 3 amp or 2 amp in this type of wire that is that is that tiny because that other stuff I got, this stuff, um, I don't know, I guess I kind of, I had high hopes for it and yeah, I don't know what voltage it'll pop at yet. This is probably like 120 volt. Um, I'm actually kind of liking the resistor idea again. I haven't gotten down to Radio Shack to get the 8th watt resistors. Um, I'll try to get down there as soon as I can so I can do some tests on those as well. I'm going to try to figure out a better mounting system for the wire over here so I can maybe make it a little bit longer to start the amperage lower. So yeah, uh, I hope these videos aren't too boring. Um, I know I'm trying to speed through the more boring parts, you know, and I hope it's not too fast. I hope you're able to follow along in the videos. I guess if it's too fast or too slow or too boring, let me know and I will try to church it up a little bit if I can. Um, I ripped up the meters down here so I could try to angle them more at the camera. So you can actually see what number the the needle is at. Uh, when they were straight, it was kind of hard to tell. And of course, the last video with the LEDs, it was too fucking bright. You could, it would like washed out everything. Or I'll just not put LEDs in there at all. So yeah, um, now I'm starting to just uh, talk about nothing and just ramble on. All right, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I also wanted to personally thank the people that have donated so far. Uh, you know who you are. Um, anything helps because it offsets the cost for all of this that I'm doing here. So again, thank you very much, and we will see you guys later. Uh, uh, and, um, uh, you know, don't. And, uh, and 10 gauge wire twist. All right, next taste.
Yeah. What is this shit? Um. 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 Uh, of course, I didn't turn on the fucking LEDs. Um. Um. Uh, I'm trying to court. I'm trying, of course. I am trying. I forgot what I was saying. I think that was good. And um. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Uh